Saturday and Sunday, 8 p.m. Tune into the industry's most wanted podcast on 99.1 FM. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your girl, Tampa Mystic, back live and direct on the industry's most wanted podcast, where I always bring you the latest and greatest. But today I do have some sad news. It's a very sad day for our community. Congressman Bobby Davis, he was found dead in his home by his loving wife, Gloria. Now the officials, they are still trying to determine what happened to the congressman. As we all know, for many years, many, many years, Congressman Bobby, he was so active within our community. He was truly a voice for our community. So I wanted to take a couple moments to extend my sincerest condolences and my prayers to the entire family of Bobby Davis. Uh, You know, as we know, his black and native roots really brought people together within our community. And that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about is bringing people together, uplifting people. So we just wanted to take a couple moments in remembrance of Congressman Bobby Davis. Now the police have confirmed that they will provide $5,000 to anyone anyone that will come forward with more information about the death of Bobby Davis. So I am here to encourage you and ask you, please, any information that you have, go to your local police and provide them with that information in the death of Bobby Davis. Whoa. Oh. Get away from me! You know who killed Bobby! Get her away from me! Don't you ever come near me! Don't you ever! You know who killed Bobby! Get away from me! 
I'm gonna get you, Nanette! You know who killed Bobby! You know who killed Bobby! You killed Bobby! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> father's gone. It's just been three days. He was just working in the yard. It's been a long day, Gloria. I do not feel like talking about daddy right now. I don't. Girl, don't sassy me. I am your mother. Don't you dare call me Gloria. You mean stepmom? Don't sassy me. Don't call me Gloria. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Yes, Mom. <laughs> it's okay, Michelle. It's God's will. It's okay. No, it's not. Remember, God don't put no more on us than we can bear. Remember that. Boucher, I need you to be strong. I'm hurt too. We need you to be strong for me as well. Let's get up now. Go get something to wash your face. Now. Now I know this is a difficult time for both of us, but we will get through this together as a family. Just go get you some sleep. Go get you some sleep, girl. Well, well, Jay, where did you get yourself in this time? Look, man, I didn't kill Bobby. Jason did it. Who is Jason? Jason is the head man in charge of the shack. Allen and Jason run the shack together. You need to be clear with me, man. What operation? Back up. Why are you trying to be funny? You my lawyer or what? Let me make myself clear. You will dis you will respect me. 
You will not talk to me in any kind of way. Do you understand? Don't make me get out of this chair. Chad gets major contracts from a biopharmaceutical manufacturer. Sometimes these manufacturers lack human cells to produce new products. So they contract the shack to go out, kidnap people, bring them back to the shack, kill them, and then sell their body parts, cells, tissues, you name it, to these biopharmaceutical manufacturers. This sound real sick, Jay. How do you get mixed up with these type of people? Everybody got it work. But notice, I didn't kill Bobby. Well, who did? And just get me out of here. I'll be back in a few days. When I do, I don't want to know exactly what happened. Back up! I'm out. You hear what I say? I thought you said you did not kill Bobby. I didn't. Your fingerprints all over where they found him dead at. Don't you think I already knew that? Don't play hard with me, you know what I'm saying? Listen up. Don't waste my time today, Jay. No. I ain't got time for it. I was there, but Jason did it. You ain't tell me that before. The plan wasn't to kill old Bobby. We just wanted to put him to sleep and take him to the shack. You know what? Even if that is true, you once said to me, once a person is kidnapped, you take them to the shack and you kill them. That wasn't the plan for old Bobby. After he drunk the soda with the poison in it, he had a heart attack. Then Jason knocked him out. I may be out, I may be get at you. I may be uh, able to get you out on bond. But you know you won't have to try have a trial date. That's enough time for you to build your case and get me the fuck out of here. I told you about talking to me in that way. In that kind of way, you better watch it. Look, man, I gotta get home, back to my apartment. My people been telling me Zelda, the cleaning lady, has been throwing parties at my apartment, driving my car around town. Get me out of here, man, please.
I went over some scriptures today, earlier to the punishment and everything that's been going on. Let me make myself clear. I have a reputation to maintain around town. Now, if you embarrass me and don't follow instructions, I will take care of your fuel arrangement myself, personally. How about a nice hot cremation ceremony? Because a burial <laughs> will be not an option. Yeah, all right. I'm going to meet with Gloria a few times to help her realize that Jason did not kill Bobby. It's gonna be hard, man. No homo. You're not allowed to speak to Jason or Alan and stay out the street. Stay away from Gloria and her daughter. Do you have an understanding? I'm not playing with you, boy. My colleagues is going to bail you out, bond you out in a few hours. Go straight home and stay out the street. Back up. Put it back up, man. Back up. Back up. Oh. How you doing? Good morning, morning. Good, good, good. Mr. Roy? Roy's Golden Detectives. How may I help you? Okay, let's just start a little bit about yourself. What school did you go to? I went to North Georgia. Okay, okay. In Gainesville, Oakwood. Mm, okay, okay, good, good. So tell me, what brings you here? No, I'm not Lachey. I'm covering for Lachey this week. Her father passed away. Try calling her next week. Well, what is the company? What's the business? <laughs> okay, so basically what we, what we do here is it's called Roy's Golden Detective. We're detective services that we, we, you know, we have a lot of clients that come in and depend on our services to actually find their spouse or loved ones that may be doing a little adultery here and there or a little cheating. So, you know, it's our job to basically, you know, when they invest in our company to make sure that they're happy. Dog, can I get a break? 
Roy's golden detectives, how may I help you? Mr. Roy is not available. Call back after 1 p.m. So that's what we do here. Okay. So, you know, you, I see you graduated. You said at the top of your class, so what makes you choose our company to do your internship? Hi, Mr. Roy, quick question. Since Lachey is returning to the office today, will I be able to go back to my old position as a private agent in a few days? Okay. Hey, Nanette. I have a few questions to ask you before I meet with Lachey and Gloria this morning. After reviewing the, the pictures from the thing, um, it, it comes to my understanding that Bobby could have possibly died of a heart attack. Do you know Bobby to be a snorer at night? Hmm. So how would you know that? You know what? Hold your answers. I'll see you another time. stayed out of trouble. Are you sure about that? Listen, don't disrespect me in front of my daughter. I just told you, my husband was a kind person. He had absolutely no street ties. Do you understand, Detective Harris? Look, my mom does not need any more extra stress. We don't know who killed my dad. We don't know. Well, Miss Gloria and the shade, I think you better start thinking about who would want to have your dad killed. Mama, it's, it's gonna be all right. I, I have to go to work. I have I have to go to work. Work? Yes. Well, you know what? what about work? We could just pick this up in a few days, okay? Oh, no. Miss Gloria, you might you might want to think about hiring a lawyer. Whatever. No problem. Let's go, Lachey. You you smell really bad. And you've been wearing these clothes for five or seven days. You haven't took a Watch shower. Watch how you talk to me. I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Just stop. Watch how you talk to me. <laughs> we have to go now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Jay, man, what's up, my boy? Man, not too happy about how I went down there at Bobby House. Y'all messed up the whole plan. Man, Jay, what are you talking about, man? Sit down. Man, mess up everything How, man. Will said my fingerprints all over the crime scene. Y'all know I ain't killed Bobby. Alice said we only needed to bring the body back to Body Shack because that's the body part that the buyer wanted. Jason did say Bobby was giving him a hard time. So who killed Bobby? Anyways, man. Listen, the buyer is interested in Gloria and the shake. Feel me? Right. So Jason took pictures of both of them, and the buyer was able to find the match from the photo. It's a $2.5 million job, man. Come on, dude. Say what? You can't beat it. Man, all you have to do is get the shake. 
and bring him back to the ship, bro. So I get two point five million dollars just for bringing the shit back to the ship. For sure. Yeah. Sounds good. I'm gonna get closer to him. Yeah. I'm gonna bring him back to my apartment tonight. Okay. That's the plan right there. Yeah, that's This is my third time calling you. Now I get real antsy when people don't answer my calls. So I need you to call me back ASAP. If I could do this, you want me to kill her? Things don't go right, so what you gotta do. Did I make myself clear early on the phone today? Yeah, I heard you, but it was just a lot of static on the other phone. You got 24 hours. Welcome back. I missed you so much. Hey, I missed you too. Oh my God. It is so good to be back. Really? Well, yes. You don't have much to do. Uh, I completed <sighs> most of the task uh, while you were away. Oh, wow. Really? Thank you so much. It is so good to have someone here like you. Mr. Roy would like me to work with you in a few days before going back in my old position. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Oh. This is him. Hello? A team meeting? Right now? Good morning, ladies. How are you guys doing today? I'm happy and blessed, Mr. Roy. Coming mm -hmm. along, Roy. Okay. Lachey, glad to have you back. I was quite scared you had that little nightmare you had going on there. Okay. And remember, Lachey, it's Mr. Roy, not Roy. Yes, Mr. Roy. Okay. Ladies. It's time to take Roy's golden detector to a whole new level. Now this week we have some investors coming in and it's very important that you ladies stay on your best behavior. Hmm. That sounds serious. Mr. Oh, it Roy. is. And I don't need any issues. You ladies understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now you ladies get back to work. You got it.
Well, it's time for me to come home, girl. I need to relax. Yeah. Is it have a good one? So, well, I am going to get with my Bible study partner this evening, and I met a friend named Jay, and we have like so much in common. So, I'm going to go and uh, talk to him and see, you know, what we can come up with. Say what? Yes, girl. So, um, I'll see you later. Or did, are you having anything to do tonight? You might want to come out with us. Mm, sounds like a busy evening. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. What's going on, Alan? Just gonna give you an update on some things. Have a seat. Well, Jay came by the office again looking for Lachey. He invited her to his apartment as well. That's the plan. It seemed like he got some other plans. Like what? Mm, well, it seemed like there's some attraction between the two of them. Jay messes this whole thing up, he's going right back to prison. Well, what's my cut in all of this? Honey K, as discussed. Okay. All right, man. Well, let me get on back to this office. Hey, Alan, I'm here with my mom and her name is Gloria, but she's gonna say hi to you. Hey, Alan, glad, so glad you could join us today. <laughs> Hello. All right, Alan, I'm gonna uh, put you on speakerphone, okay? All right, hold on, just. All right, so today for Bible study, I wanna um, talk about Psalm 91, and I'm just gonna quote a, a few verses from it. He who dwells in a secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. That scripture, those three scriptures right there is pretty much my protection. And I wanna share that with you guys because every, every since that scripture has been introduced to me, I've been reciting it and it's been protecting me. And, I've, and I haven't been having a lot of harm come my way or near my dwelling place since I've been reciting that scripture and meditating on that scripture. So today I wanted to introduce you guys to that scripture, mom and, and Alan. Um, so 
from now on, just keep that in you guys' spirit and try to remember the word so that you can actually speak it and live it. Sounds good, Lachey. Sounds good to me. This song is titled uh, Dream Another Day. Okay. All right. God leap can't stop this coming through like, like lightning. Like God, I'm, I'm striking down to my knees. Praying God now, now please. You want power? Well, you can't have it. I know that you see it. Money, money can't buy it. My soul now can't have it. Now I got the power. I got money and power. Money, money and power. Yes. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Like thank that. you. Thank you. Medical You've seen this before? Is directed mm. by public health officials for evaluation and treatment. That she died in the end. Contaminated. Oh. It is important to stay calm. Although... So, you want water? Yeah. All right, gotcha. Jane, I, I really enjoy myself, but I think it's time for me to go. Okay, I walk into the door. Tired of you and Alan. This is a reminder. You will do as I say do. I own you and you owe me. Most people that work for me, they do as I say. You will do the same. Straight in your face. Point five million dollars. Two point five million dollars. Hey, Barbara, how's everything going? I'm getting close. Uh, I have a photo shoot with her, so uh, I'll continue to get close to her so she'll eventually start to trust me. Time is of essence. Of course, got this. 
You better. Glory, did um you and Bobby have any problems in your marriage? Uh, no, Detective Harris. Me and Bobby were happy. Why? Well, according to our records, it seems like you two were sleeping in two separate rooms. <laughs> oh, that's our personal business. But since you want to know, Bobby snored a lot, so we slept in separate rooms sometimes. Oh, he snored a lot, huh? Yes, that's what I said. Well then, um, so who's in the neck? Wait, wait, what does my best friend have to do with any of this? Why are you asking about that? Man? That's your best friend? Well, it seems like Bobby and Nanette were actually having okay. an affair. I think what? I think we are leaving. Uh, an affair? Her. I had a long day. I don't have time for this. Uh, I have a friend an coming affair? over for a Bible study. We yes. gotta go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. And um, according to our record, it seems like this affair has been going on for... <sighs> At least three years. Oh, God. Three? I'm sorry. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. I'm sorry. But I, 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 I seen him hugging before. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. Wait, you knew about this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Mom. Ladies, don't go too far. Okay, keep in touch with you. Okay, I will take Mom, I'm sorry. Look, look, Shay.
Man, I don't know if I could do this. You want me to kill her? If things don't go right, that's what you gotta do. You know she gonna go look for the shape and shit. She messed with my money. That's it for Miss Glory. Man, that's it for today. So glad you could join me today, Jay. Appreciate it. You wanna join me over there? Sit close to me? I won't hurt you. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope not think of it. <laughs> Sit with me. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'm not. You're doing a great job. But listen, I want to let you know, me and Lachey really need you around more often now that my husband Bobby's not here. Well, I will try, but I can't make no promises. <laughs> Sounds good. Miss Gloria, I got to go. I got to <sighs> go to work. Okay. Well, hope to see you soon. What the f Lachey, come back here now. Lachey! Hey. Wow. Nice place you got here, Nanette. Um, I must say, I'm very impressed. You want to try my best to keep it clean? Uh, yeah, I see that. And I'm, I apologize about the dinner, but I will definitely eat it tomorrow. Sounds good. And, um, such a pretty lady, I must say. Um, tell me a little bit about Bobby. I'm not going to prison to take the Paris. Don't worry, you're not. Just as long as you follow instructions, okay? My time. Bobby wasn't happy with Rory, so we dated for three years. Hmm. So, um, oh, three years, huh? So, uh, what about this insurance policy? Come on, Annette, where's the money? There, Lachey said there's another money. This can't be true. Well, it is. To take the parents, let's just relax and watch a movie. Annette, I would love to, but first let me nail Jay and I'll come back and we pick up where we left off. Okay, sounds good? Okay, don't forget them. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. We have the table, guys. Take 
else and we will come oh back to those. What is your problem? You're talking way too much. What did I do now, Gloria? He wanted to know if Bobby and I was having an affair. Oh, okay. God! Did you receive the policy? Uh, you need to make sure you work your magic on this Detective Harris and make him go away. I think we should watch your mom. None of this would have happened if you wouldn't have invited me into you and Bobby's bedroom. Shut the hell up. Bobby dying was not part of the plan. I only wanted to get the 10000 from his savings. It's a long story. It doesn't matter who killed Bobby. You better hope. Girl, you better hope that she wakes up on this coma. Either way, the take of Harris is on you, I, and Jake's case. Uh, uh, I don't even... Bobby cheated on me at least six times, so... Before I came around, you invited me. Like I said, work your magic on that Detective Harris. Make him go away. What's up, Detective Harris? Mm. Hey, man. What's going on, fellas? It's good. Come right. in, have a seat. Yeah, for sure. Now, how's everything? It's a good cat complain, man. Yeah, man, you know, <laughs> getting to this paper, man, gotta get mad. All right, well, um, I need to know exactly what happened at Happy Hour oh, before God. Lachey got attacked. Yeah, it is going down, man. Man, we already told you, man. She walked in already upset, and she was just watching the show. That's it. Yeah, man, I gave her the usual, you know. <laughs> Baby girl, you look amazing. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. And that's it? Yeah, sir, that's it. Yeah, man, that's it. You know, the usual. Baby, right, you look well, amazing. Look, let me make myself clear, okay? Let me make myself clear. I need some answers. So, when I come back, y'all better, better lay it out for me, all right? I need some answers. Here we go. Let me this get that. Oh, man. man. It's crazy, it's crazy bro. bro. It's every time, bro. Yeah, man, this man crazy. All right, fellas. I need some answers, okay? Man, like JB said, man, back up, man. Back up. I got it. Man, this man. Tell you guys, listen, man. We done already told you the truth, man. What else do you want from us? Well, look here, man. According to the surveillance cameras and the witness, the description fits your description. What? All right? Did you help your friend? Oh, listen, man. Rocco was helping me clean out the club. There's no way he did that. Man, man, no, 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 man, listen. No more answers, man. No more questions, man. We'll get our own attorney. Oh man, Willie will help us out with yeah. this one, man. I ain't got yeah. time for this, bro. Willie? Yeah. Broke down Willie? Yeah, man. Well, try your best. Man, we out of here, man. Yeah. Don't Back go up. too far, man. Yeah. Don't go too far. Yeah. Don't go too far, fellas, all right? Yeah, you heard Look at you. You gotta come out of this. This is my fault. This is my fault. I should have been more open with you about everything. <sighs> Barbara, what a surprise. You made it. Yeah. I was getting ready to leave, so you can have my seat. Oh, 
Thank you, Gloria. And where were you going? Home to get some sleep. <sighs> Welcome back, Lachey. you know we're not gonna agree to everything but trust I only want what's best for you and I just want you to be safe believe that I love you So, we never finished the case with Bobby. Now we have to deal with this doggone attack? This is crazy. Look, take it easy. My daughter just got out of the hospital. Mr. Lachey, do you remember anything from the attack? No, no, she doesn't. So back off. The only thing that I remember is Lee she Roy doesn't. And Mr. Back Roy. off. You better keep your watch your mouth, woman. Tell me what you're saying. Only thing I remember is leaving work with Mr. Roy and heading home with Mr. Roy. That's it. That's all I remember. Hmm. Well, do you know what happened when she um when she walked in the door? I greeted her and of course made her dinner. Um, Mom, you haven't cooked since Dad died. Lachey, hmm. stop. That is exactly what happened, hmm. and you yeah. know it. Well, uh, you seem a little confused there, Miss Gloria. Listen, stay in your place. Why don't you worry about finding the, the who killed my husband? Oh, and by the way, I do have an attorney. Oh, yeah? Let's go. I think that's going to help you? I know. Well, let's go, Shay. Oh. Shay, if you remember anything, make Shay, sure you call let's me go. immediately. Hello, Alan. What brings you to Roy's Golden Detectives? How's it going, Barbara? Here to meet with Roy. Okay. I understand, sir. You know, every time you come in here, you're always dressed your best. Oh, turn on. Thank you, Barbara. Mm. I'll just wait here for Roy. Roy, I'm going to take a Well, well, Alan, what brings you here today? What brings me here today? Let me make myself clear. I pretty much pay all the bills around here. Must I remind you about the $100,000 I gave you? The so-called business loan? Hey, what's up with you? I make all my payments. He makes, he makes all his payments. $300 is not enough, Roy. Well, I don't I have more, more to give, man. I don't have more to give. Well, you better think real hard about a solution. Yeah, like... The little incident you had me involved with, kidnapping Lachey, you know, 
the one that didn't follow through? Look, I got $2.5 million on the line. Is that right? Well, you know what they say on the man around town. So I hear. But I also want to know, wouldn't it be a conflict of interest? Because you're representing somebody else on Bobby's case. No, we good. We should be good. Do you know what we might want to kill Bobby? No, no, I don't. You need to take a little heart, Louie. Maybe you should find out my husband's killer. And then I'll think about sending a payment to your struggling law firm. You may help me record it. You told me you can get me off. What happened to find the evidence that Jason killed Bobby? I told you to stay out the streets. You'll be going to jail. Paul. Jay been coming around to your apartment. You've been hanging out with a state and Gloria and working at the shack. This was our agreement. Hey, Gloria. Jack, what are you doing here? Just a routine visit, started by the probation officer. Huh. Is Shay still in the hospital? Gloria, calm down. Everything is going to be all right. Jay, give me my phone. If I find out the real reason you're here, I'll be back. Gloria, you're a sick woman. Sorry to hear about Lachey. Listen, Lachey's memory is not all over. I need you to go back to her job and reintroduce yourself to her. So she can remember it. Yeah, but you want her remembering me hugging you on the sofa? Yeah. Listen, Jay, nothing happened to Chance. Here's Gloria. Calm down. Nothing happened between us. Gloria, you need some help. Do you have a therapist? I'll show you therapy. Calm down. Nothing happened between us.
Nice to see you again, Jay. You too, Lachey. What the attacker looks like? Jay, I don't remember what he looks like. His face was covered. Try, Lachey. Well, I don't remember. He just had his, he came from the back of the, the car. He grabbed me from the back of the car and his face was covered. Yeah, you mentioned the attacker was already in the car before. He was. So, Barbara, tell me, what's the mission for Roy's Golden Detectives? Roy's Golden Detectives is dedicated to helping clients discover secrets about their cheating spouses. And we also identify the trends in you know, personality traits in individuals. Mm. So that means you know I'm not running a whole agency here. Yeah. Alan tells me how you be flirting with him when he comes in here. Mm. Can you please keep that to a minimum? This is a professionalism environment. Hey, Shay, so what's going on with you and Jay? He's just an associate helping me get past the attack. Hmm, so you guys not have anything going on? He hasn't asked you to come to his apartment or anything? Mr. Roy, where is all this coming from? Hmm, just asking. I'm gonna keep my eyes on you ladies. Okay, all right, that'll be it. You ladies get back to work. Hello? Look, man, I've been calling you all day. What's going on? Look, man, you pay me to do a job, but I'm gonna do it. I don't need you calling me every five minutes questioning the status of everything. You do what I tell you to do. I got $10 million on the line for this job. Did you hear what I just said? Look, man, you need to get it done ASAP or your $2.5 million is gone. Who is you talking to like this? Look, man, I got this. We already identified the mother and the daughter for the human research gig just last week. What you need to do is hold up and tell them folks to be patient before I shake some things up. Do you like listening to the Bible or you like reading it? You like the audio? Kind of like the audio. Um, I, don't mind, I don't mind listening to it. I like the audio. Yeah, I like the audio. My church is very small. Lache doesn't go to church with me. She's just now going on her own path, which is okay. You know, I just hope she surrounds herself with like minded people. As I'm growing closer with the Lord, I hope, you know, her and the people she surrounds herself with. Help her go closer, closer with the Lord as well. Yes, ma'am.
Be no bad girl, bad girl. Knew we were gonna kill it. I was just waiting on the beautiful. Listen to the Stevie Brick style, so beautiful. Where should I take her? What? <coughs> bro. Dude, take her to the screening room, bro. Yeah, man. Okay. Boy, man. Hey, man, when you come back, man, call me and call it. Give me the money, bro. No, she couldn't run out from me. I just wouldn't know where she would be. There's no way she'd spent the night with Alan or Jay. Barbara. Have you seen Lachey? Her phone keeps going to voicemail. Oh, oh wow. She didn't come home last okay, night. Okay, okay, Miss Gloria, calm down. Calm down. Are you sure she's not just at a friend's house? Her phone keeps going to voicemail. What's going on up here? Uh, 
Lachey is missing. We've got all these. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so, yes, I'd like to report on this in person. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, she's right here. It's one of our. Yes. Yes, yes, ma'am. She gonna come back, Glory gonna come back to the shed, right? Okay. Looking for Lachey eventually, right? Okay. And all he wants you to do, bro, is just take the gun and pop in the leg one time, bro. Bro, right? wait, wait, hold on, wait a minute, man. Why me, bro, y'all? Oh, why God, me, bro? Calls, man, you playing, come man. on, Stop dude. Playing, why me, bro? though, bro? No, why, why me? But listen, bro, we got to give Jay the money back. <sighs> okay, so what's next, then? All right, listen. So, when Glory eventually gets checked in to the hospital, right? He just want me to sneak in, drug her, and kill her somehow, bro. Like, and drag her body back to the shack. Like, bro, you acting like that so Dude, hard. Dude, that is a lot of work. No, bro, listen, bro, this is easy, man, this bro. This is what I'm talking about right this here, man. This is easy, man, look. And then all you got to do, bro, you know, eventually, you know, I'm gonna be doing my thing at the hospital, and all you got to do is just break into Jay's apartment, man, and get the money back. <sighs> all right, man. It sounds like a plan then. Yeah, if man. It's, if if that's what has to be done. Yeah, man. Good, man. Good. What's up, man? What's up? All done, man. What's up? All done. Good. Good. We done. Good. 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 Good.
You were kidnapped by Jay. He sold your body parts to a buyer. Gloria, you are under arrest. Now. I talked to the nurse. She said Miss Gloria was gonna be okay. The tape of Harris told me everything. Oh my god. Thanks for looking Hey, Miss Gloria, how you doing? If you don't know, you finna make me a one rich man, huh? It's okay. 2.5 million? Here I come. Back up! No, nah, man, you back up! Back up! No, nah, you back up! I said back up! I collected mine, man! Just how I'm just finna take care of Miss Gloria, I did the same thing with Bobby for the shack. I'm collecting my 2.5 million, man. I'm finna be a rich man. Back up. <laughs> 